Everyone more or less knows how trees are made. I mean, have you not driven by a paper mill and smelt how they're made? Do you ever wonder why paper is made from trees? Did you know that the word paper comes from the reed plant papyrus? The Egyptians compressed and dried the first couple of papers over 5,000 years ago. Modern paper making comes from the China, where silu pulped bark, oak, bamboo to make the first papers which he presented to the Chinese emperor in 105 AD. They kept this a secret for over 500 That wasn't until the Arabs captured Chinese paper makers on the battlefield. It then took another 400 years for it to reach modern. By then, paper was in still in big demand in Europe, and newspaper was the main the main reason. So they use were still using linen at this time. Linen became so scarce that they decided to possibly import mummies so that they could use that instead. Finally, a more practical solution was developed by a French scientist named Fischer. He was wandering in the woods when he saw an abandoned wasp nest, and he decided to poke it. When he poked it, he realized that the nest had holes made from paper, which was chewed by the wasp by chewing the wood pulp. In 1844, a German and a French decided to develop a machine that pulped trees simultaneously. This is the end of a 2,000-year-old paper making from by 1900, two and a half million tons of paper were produced per year. By 2020, we'll produce 500 million and a half tons per year. Paper requires huge sources of energy, and not only that, it is the only product in the world that requires the most amount of water. Deforestation is a problem that has occurred with the demand for paper. Tons of trees are cut down to produce paper. This has become an issue. But just like for show solved our paper issue 100 years ago, there is a more practical solution to making paper. Recycling the world's paper that's already being used will save over 20 million acres of forest. Paper can still be made, though, from bamboo, hemp, sugarcane, bananas, so there are still other resources we can use to try and conserve the tree as our paper. With all that said, let's get into the reason why we need the history of paper. My genius idea of paper sale books first became a hobby to me when I first saw the activity in a scary movie. The movie was it. We will now see a clip. Stay afloat. And when you're down here with me, 
Let's take a look at what we did in Taos, New Mexico. We're here in Taos today looking at the beautiful scenery. How to make a boat. And this is our beautiful creek that we're going to sail our boats through. Good morning to you, Taos. It is about 10 o'clock on Friday morning. We are going to test this boat out to see how exactly it floats down the creek before we have a race. So, if you'll bear with me. Wait. One second. I will now be setting the boat into the creek. It's going! And it, we are currently stuck on this rock right here. We are water locked in. Let's see how we can do another test. Camera, this is Brian. <laughs> oh. Look at that boat sail. Don't stop! No! Look at them go! Look, one made it! No! Stop! Well, that one wasn't good at all. Look at this one go! This is the final boat. Thank you.